This is the Better Business Bureau, known as the BBB. A long time ago, this used to be a really big deal. This is how people complained about businesses before the World Wide Web, and people would get a, a BBB rating, and it was a really big deal. Nowadays, it's, you know, there's other ways of um, complaining about bad businesses and trying to get your money back. But, you know, it's it's difficult to some extent. It still has some importance, the Better Business Bureau. Let's look at Thomas John Celebrity Medium. This is what we get when we come to the BBB for people who have lodged complaints about him. Let's take a quick look. This one's from January of 2023. I brought, bought a reading from Thomas in 2020. It was scheduled and canceled several times. I've asked for a refund and all I get is another scheduled time six months away. I want a refund. I paid $250. This one's from December of 22. On January 9th, 2022. So it's been a year. I paid $111.11. That's an odd amount. For a 15-minute reading for a three-month, six months from the purchase date, I scheduled a call for May 4th, 2022, and was notified on May 3rd, 2022, that my call would need to be rescheduled until August 7th, 2022. Then I got another email on August 5th that my August 7th call would need to be rescheduled. Okay, you guys get the drill. That's, that's crazy. Here's another one. I purchased... A reading from Thomas John over a year ago since then he's canceled the appointment last minute multiple times. It's a well-published complaint from another. This is a well-published complaint from other consumers who have purchased readings over the years. I have a request a reimbursement. He simply states he does not provide them. I will know I know I will never get a reading from him and I want the cost of my prepaid 60-minute reading refunded. Here's another from November 2022. I purchased in 2020 a $200 one hour phone reading with Thomas John. I paid for la 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 on Venmo, which is not likely to give you a refund. And now I am having trouble getting a hold of them and so and so. Okay. November 3rd, 2022. Oh, this one's been resolved. So they paid $400 or $399 for a 60 minute reading with him. I received a reading, an email saying the reading would take place on this day. And then I received another email stating Thomas had his, had to assist his mother after a procedure and gave me a new date. I completely understood. I received a day before reminder. Then I waited by the phone and got no call. And then I sent him another email and then they said he had a dog emergency and we'd have to reschedule and they were sorry. And then they understood because I have pets and so on. Boy, this is a very forgiving person. I received another email um, and then I told him I was very upset. And then I received, I wanted my money back and I sent another email saying many things can impact the schedule. I sent two more emails. I have not had a response. Um, also, on November 2nd, he's doing live readings on Facebook, which I know that's what's there, which I commented on that I've been waiting for my, re my reading. He didn't respond. I feel like I've been scammed. Please let the public know this is not right. Uh, pl playing on people's emotions and grief. You can understand a couple of changes, but not that many changes. So they got a response directly by Thomas John. And the response they got was that... Uh, they keep canceling the appointments and they made this appointment for New Year's Eve. And I'm afraid I'll be waiting once again for a call. Well, no, oh, this one says it's been resolved. That's good. Um, another one that had a 399 reading. Mm, needs to be rescheduled. I heard it's rescheduled. More rescheduling. Here's one purchased two 15 minute readings for a total of $222.22. One call was completed. The other for my husband was initially um, scheduled and then they needed to reschedule and then so on and so on. We're requesting a refund for $111.11. So they agreed to another one. Um, so they still haven't had it. 
This one was supposed to be completed within a year of purchase, 60 minutes. Um, I received a brief email providing what had happened. Another change of telephone. I scheduled telephone psychic reading. The date was changed. I received a confirmation on the day of my appointment. I never received a call or email notifi notifying me my appointment was rescheduled and I was given a new date, same issue, no notificating notification indicating my appointment was canceled and delayed to a time slot for the same day. I paid $400 for a service I never received. I purchased an email question to be answered by September 2nd by Thomas John. I sent him $100. Um, I've never received a response. It was supposed to be done by the 2nd of September. I mean, how, how long does it take you to, to do that? And look, look how many of these are. There's another one. Um, advertised at a low cost due to the pandemic. I purchased this reading as a gift from my aunt when I went to look at their website to book the appointment. After it had been paid for, the first was available on April 29th, which was booked. On that day, my aunt received an email from them stating that Thomas was running behind. They need to reschedule the appointment. Oh, my God. Um, wow. They have a no refund policy. All right. This has been changed three times. I paid $200. I have heard nothing. I bought a one-hour reading for $200. As all the other complaints, the reading has been canceled at least 10 times now. Only a week or days before the reading was to take place. Always a scheduling comp conflict. One day, even within one hour, my reading got changed four times. Gosh. Two phone readings. One was $200 an hour, the other $99 for half an hour. This one was I paid $400. Um, they, I've been rescheduled three times. This one was... $400. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's just incredible. Purchased a one hour reading for $200. $400. Two 15 minute readings. Oh, it's a, supposed to be a blank mate month of waiting list. It's been 27 months. And each time I'm rescheduled, my appointment is canceled. I patiently waited two years for a discounted reading I've purchased. $300 on Zelle. Now, you guys should also know that, that these are cash readings. You're paying by cash. Now, if you had charged, if you had done this with your, with your credit card, you would have gotten your money back. But no, he's asking for you to pay by cash. And he hasn't been able to um, use PayPal for a while now. This business is not BBB accredited. $100, $400, $100, $200, $222, $200, um, $200, $400, another page. I, it's It just adds up. And the thing is, is that if they got their reading, they'd probably be happy. Little Oh, $500. But what they don't understand is they're going to just, he's not communicating with the dead. So they'd get their reading. And what? Oh, look, March of 2018. And they're complaining in 2019. So what happens is if you purchase a lot of credit card, 450 a lot of credit card companies won't refund your money because too much time has passed. Isn't that interesting? So you book your appoint you book your appointment and it's got an hour to go. I mean an hour, a year away, wait. And then they find out that um your credit card company is not going to give it to you. But I don't think he's even using credit cards anymore. I think everything is through cash, cash apps, Apple Pay, uh, Venmo. Uh, can't use PayPal because I think PayPal finally canceled him because he was using too much, too many problems. Look at this. It just goes on and on and on and on. People, I guess, don't check to get their, um, their information. They don't look. 
Tom, medium Thomas Johnson. <laughs> oh, man. $500. One of these I read, and I don't know where it is right now, but one of these I read was saying that they had to cancel, you know, they had to miss work. And then a few minutes later, the for the reading and the meeting and then the thing was canceled anyway. Seventy-five dollars. Four hundred and fifty dollars. Somebody should sit down and figure out how much money this is. Wow. I purchased a one hour reading over a year ago. He emailed me himself. Mr. John emailed me himself telling me he was not feeling well and offered to change the reading. Boy, this guy, this psychic, he's got the worst problems. My goodness, his vet things, emergency things for his vet, his dog. He's not feeling well. Amazing. This is the thing. You know, I'm recording this here on March 19th, and he's got openings for 15-minute readings. March is completely sold out, but April, you can be able to get in there in May and June and August. Why doesn't he set these people up? He's already got a pay, he's already got their money for. Why is he still offering these things? Oh, look, a virtual call by Zoom. $500 for a 15-minute reading. $500. You pay your $500, and guess what? You'll get rescheduled. Over and over and over and over again. June 27th, $500. Is it worth it to have somebody just reading your Facebook page or your um, Instagram page back to you? Here's a 60-minute reading. $1,400. I bet those people get their reading. You pay the big bucks like that. He's... And, Every day I get another email, another email, another email, another email. There's openings, there's openings, openings, openings. Come and book, come and book, come and book. This one I have that I'm not showing you right at the second is for 20 bucks, $20, $20 for a reading. Oh, here it is. Let me show you. Evening of Psychic Messages with Thomas John, April 7th. It's an online event. You can go and you can um, go with about three or 400 other people for 20 bucks. You will be read if your make sure your Zoom screen has your full name on it. Hyphenated names or double names. It shows your maiden name are the best. And um, keep your Facebook page completely wide open and maybe you'll get a reading. 90 minutes. He's going to talk to people. To purchase, please click here. Thank you. Get tickets. I wonder if we can get him. Let's see how far we can get to see. Oh, they are using credit cards. I'm I'm amazed. Okay. Ref all sales are final. There are no refunds. When he's talking on Facebook and um, all those others, he'll say cash, cash, cash. Tickets. I don't know. Fascinating, you guys. Just fascinating that people continue to buy his services. Why? Why are you continuing to buy? Stop buying his services.